So that's the time. Hello fellow discussables and random viewers and one of the eight subscribers that we have. First off, a couple of things about me. I don't actually live in America or in a camp. That's just a calendar that I use to write things on on dates and stuff, you know, like you do with a calendar. Um, my name's not James, or James, or James, or even Yasmin, because I'm a male. Um, my name's Luke, so, um, so hi, I'm Luke, pleased to meet you all. Um, about this Sopa Pippa thing, like Yaz, I don't really know much about it, because one day my friend was just like, oh, have you heard this thing that people are trying to control the internet? I was like, no. And they told me about it, and I was just like, okay, um, that's interesting. Let me know what happens about it. And then, like, a couple of months ago, they were shelved indefinitely or whatever, so if they come back, they come back. But then my friend James, who's not James or James or James, but a d my other friend James, he said one day, we're on Skype, and he was like, have you heard about this actor? So I was like, wow, what actor? What actor is that? He said, oh, they're trying to control the internet like the other people were. I was just like, which actor is trying to control the thing? He goes, no, not an actor, actor. So I was rather confused, and then they sent me a link. So I was like, oh, A-C-T-A actor. That's, that's, you're, you confuse me with your words. So yeah, that's basically the same thing. I get as Soper and Peeper, Peeper, let's go with Peeper for now, but that sounds a little bit, what's the word, weird, no, um, rude, because I bet they're not Peepers at all, should we go with Piper, no, P-I-P-A, let's go with that, um, yeah, so I, don't know a lot about them, but they've gone now, so that's good. Um, and if they do can try and control the internet, that's obviously a bad thing because the internet doesn't need to be controlled at all. Well, it does because there's like dirty things on it that nobody watches anyway, but obviously it needs to be controlled to some extent, but to try and take out all of the popular culture stuff, and like Yaz said, her friend downloads things but also buys them. I've gone to the cinema countless times, I've got music CDs, I download songs on their own, I've, I buy video games, I buy movies, all of this stuff. And like she said, you f if you don't know you like something, there's no point buying it, so to stop file sharing sites like Mega Upload and things, that's bad because you can download like the first couple of episodes of a TV series, an anime, um, whatever, and if you like it, you can then either go and buy it, or some people will probably just download the rest or watch it online for free. But I mean, there's no point in buying something if you don't know that you like it or not, because it'd be a waste of money and then that would just ruin your whole life. Like, you could explode just with anger. And nobody wants that, because that would make the calendar all messy. Um, I'm a gamer as well, as you can see the Xbox that's about there. Um, there's rumours of a new Xbox console coming out probably next year or something, and there's also a rumour that it's going to try and stop... It's not going to allow you to play second-hand games on it. Which, technologically, I don't know how they're going to do that. And if they do do that, it's just a bad idea in the long run. Say you buy Halo, and you play it on your Xbox, and then you go around to a friend's house and they don't have Halo, so you take Halo to their house and you go to play it, but then it's like, sorry, you're not allowed to play this because you've already played it on your console. So then you've got to go home and bring your console to, or you could like bring them to your house. But I mean, that's the stupidity thing of it. It's like you can't go and share your game. Or if you've finished the game and you want to lend it to a friend, 
then what are you going to do? You can't not sell it. You're not going to be able to sell it to game or play or eBay, wherever you want to sell it to, because no one else is going to be able to play it. You know what I mean? You're just going to have like a stack of games, like this big, of games you don't play anymore, because you can't get rid of them. And then, yeah, anyway, enough about that. Onto the super uh, hero or super villain things. Um, I like how Yasmin's and James's ones help people by healing them or making them smarter, because let's face it, there are some not smart people in the world. I mean, there's just because they're not smart in one thing doesn't mean they're not going to be smart in another, but some people are just silly. Let's call them silly. But that's, that's, you've got good superpowers. You're going to help people. Mine, I would effectively be a ninja with laser guns and like, not laser guns as in James Bond, I'm going to destroy laser guns. Laser guns as in, let's go and play laser quest and shoot lasers at packs to get points. Um, yeah, it'd be like that, but I'd have two. And unlike laser quest, you wouldn't have to have your hand on the bottom of one. You could just have two and shoot them. And I don't know how that would stop people. Maybe I'd put like a stun a stun effect in it, so you shoot someone and they get paralysed, hopefully not for the rest of their life, because just because they're robbing someone in the street and you shoot them with a stun laser doesn't really mean you have to paralyse them from the neck down, so they have to be bedridden for like their whole life. I mean, paralyse them until they can get to the police station, and then get arrested. Yeah. And I'd have a costume and it'd be like it'd be like a morph suit but with with like stuff inside it that could camouflage you. So you'd basically be an invisible ninja, but ninjas are invisible anyway. So you'd just be a ninja with guns on your back, laser guns to paralyze people. I liked James's costume of a giant panda suit and I like how you justified that with a lab coat I mean first off how many giant pandas do you see changing people's DNA second of all they're not gonna be wearing a lab coat that's genius I like it and basically that's all I've got to say but James Monday that's it your surname's now Monday and James Wednesday your surname's Wednesday and tomorrow it's going to be James Friday. You know it. Um, James Monday, you didn't tell us what your superhero or supervillain would be and what costume you would wear. So don't try and get out of this, mister. Um, and I will see you fellow discussables and subscribers and random watchers next time. And I'll see you tomorrow, James. James Friday. Don't know where I'm going with this, really. That's where I'm going. <laughs>